Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today what we're gonna do is talk about some of the ways that information flows through a supply chain via Hostess cupcakes, okay? Because I figured this is something we can all understand and really focus on today are some chocolatey goodness and with a little mint flavor. Why not, okay? Anyway, the first flow of information I wanna talk about is when information flows from the customer to the store. So when I was at the grocery store and I picked these things up, I walked up to the, the aisle, walked in the aisle, walked to the cashier, gave it to her, and then she scanned my universal product code, right? And that communicated to them that, yes, I'm buying this. So you have that information flow there, which seems pretty obvious, right? But the thing is, there's other ways that that information flows because now the store that I bought this from, they then need to communicate to their corporate buyer maybe and say, hey, look, we sold another box of our Hostess cupcakes. We might need to order some more. So we have to communicate to them that, hey, we might be running low on our inventory, so you need to buy some more. So you're gonna be communicating to your buyer because some companies, some stores, they don't buy themselves. They have a maybe a regional buyer or something like that that buys for them. And so you have to think about that information flowing back and forth. Because we all know nobody wants to go to store for our Hostess cupcakes and there's none of them there. Of course not. And then from there, we might look at it in terms of the information flow goes from the buyer to the manufacturer. So this is when the regional buyer from my grocery store calls up Hostess and says, Hostess, we need some more cupcakes. Give us a few pallets of them, okay? And when you think about it, information flows back and forth in each one of these directions. Because I buy the I buy the hostess at the store, they t I tell that information to them. They also tell me information about the prices, so we have some information going back and forth that way. The store to the buyer, there's information that way saying, hey, we sold more stuff. The, the buyer might tell the store, hey, we've got more stuff coming. So you have information flowing going back and forth there. Then if you look at for the, the buyer to the manufacturer, hey, hostess, we need more. And hostess can be saying, hey, we got more coming on your way. You have those kind of information flows that way, but sometimes you don't necessarily have to go through a buyer or a wholesaler or a distribution center or something like that. What you might end up doing is seeing a store might communicate directly with the manufacturer. Maybe you've heard of manufacturer direct betting. Yes, that is information flow from the supply chain, i.e. the retailer, the store, to the manufacturer of the actual furniture saying, hey, look, we need a king size bed for an extra chunky guy. All right, and so they're communicating that way. So you can have that kind of information flow as well. And of course, then the manufacturer may say, hey, we're shipping some of our beds to your store, be ready for them. So you can see the information flowing from that manufacturer back to that in store if we're cutting out the middlemen. But the thing is, we don't wanna live out the middlemen or the distribution centers, the wholesalers, because what you might see is sometimes the store might be communicating directly with the distribution center saying, you know, instead of calling up the buyer, calling up hostess directly, maybe you're just calling your local, you know, distribution center saying, hey, we're running low because you run a few, you know, boxes of cupcakes out to our Southwest store. Sure, sounds good. You do have information flowing that way as well. Also, you might be flowing from the distribution center to the store saying, hey, we're gonna be dropping off your pallets of stuff later today. And then of course, you would have the distribution center and the manufacturer, they wanna communicate as well because when Hostess sends these off, they're not sending it just straight to the, to the grocery store. A lot of times what they'll send it to is, maybe they'll send it to a Walgreens distribution center and then they can distribute it out. So you might have communication going that way from the distribution center to the manufacturer and vice versa. So it all kind of depends. But the thing is, is no matter if you're selling Hostess cupcakes or, or t-shirts or whatever, there's a lot of information flow in the supply chain. That's why it is vital that companies have really good communication channels when they're dealing with the supply chain because we want everybody on the same page. Because I don't want the store telling the buyer, we need more cupcakes. Also telling the manufacturer that, hey, we need more cupcakes. And also telling distribution center, we need more cupcakes. Well, then all of a sudden you get three thousand boxes of cupcakes instead of the three you really need okay so you want to think about these things because you might see that whenever you try to order an uber right and if you try to schedule it if it doesn't work right you're not sure so you try to order another one and then two show up and you're like ah oh, man now my uber rating is going to get messed up because the information flow wasn't good that's why it is vital supply chain it's about communication getting information between places in a good way 
back and forth communications so we can see if there's any you know inefficiencies out there or anything's going wrong or what's up it is really an important thing for a supply chain so i hope this helps you understand some of the different ways that information kind of goes around a supply chain because it really does and hopefully your supply chain can get you some of these limited edition mint chocolate cupcakes my kids are loving these just by the way i of course are abstaining because i am being a good boy for now bye